In this session we're going to discuss how to track forms that we've already distributed. We start out this process by opening up the original form, not a distributed form, but the original. This is Computer Apps Registration Form 4.pdf. So I'll double click that and our form appears. We'll then go to the Tools pane. We'll click Tools to open it up. And here under the Form section, we're going to choose Track. And our tracker appears. Now I have a few different versions of this form. I'm going to choose the third version and see what we've got. We can see that this was sent on 8812 at just before noon using Acrobat.com. We have three recipients who have responded, one who has not responded for a total of four. And down here we can see that this Jeff Wood guy has actually responded five times. Joy and Ruth have responded once and Snark66 have not responded at all. Let's look at those responses by clicking View Responses. This screen shows up. This gives us a summary of our data. Here on the left side of that black line, we can see who they've identified themselves as. And on the right, we've got a timestamp and then a field for each question in the survey. Name, ID number, whether they wanted to take the Acrobat or Dreamweaver classes, payment, and skills. If I want to update my files, I click the Update button. This tells me there's no new responses found. If I want to filter my data, I can click Filter. I'll choose the field name Acrobat and contains Yes and click Done. And we can then see that Acrobat has three responses. Similarly, if I filter for Dreamweaver, contains Yes and click Done, I can see that five people have registered for the Dreamweaver class. If I want to add a form that was distributed and returned via email attachment, I can do that manually. I'll click the Add button. I'm going to add my file. And here in my Adobe folder, I have an Emails folder where I'm keeping my return responses. So I can select that response, click Open, click OK, and that adds that new response. If I want to export these responses so I can open them up in Excel and perhaps manipulate them in Excel as well, I can choose the Export button. I'll choose Export All. I do have the option of exporting just selected responses. I'll Export All. We're going to export this as a common delimited file. I'll go to my desktop and we'll click Save. I'll overwrite the existing file and this lets me know that eight responses were successfully exported. We'll end this lesson in Excel where I'll show you how to import that CSV file we exported out of Acrobat. I'll go to the File tab. I'll choose Open. Here's our dialog box. I first need to change the type of file from Excel Files to All Files. And we can now see my responses are right here. That's the file I exported. I'll click Open and they're imported into Excel. And one final note, if you had anybody who returned the form via mail, actual snail mail as opposed to email, you can add them manually to the Excel file to complete your results.